Quick disclaimer. The purpose of the footage you're about to see is not to teach people to be assassins, but rather knowing what options they have when they have a knife in their hand that they can use as a weapon. Um, if the situation is that uh, an individual is defending themselves in a knife attack and then they've taken the knife against uh, off of their attacker, um, I believe that they should know how to use it properly because there's a lot of people that don't know how to use a knife properly and don't know what's better out of using holding the knife this way or this way. There are pros and cons to everything, and so the footage you're about to see is me going over and explaining that. Um, however, the video is with self-defense in mind, okay? Uh, it's very similar to gun defense. I don't like teaching people gun defense if they don't know how to use a gun properly, because if you take a gun of someone and you don't know how to use it, then there's a chance that it can be uh, something that would hinder your performance as opposed to aid you. There was a case of this where a guy took a gun off an attacker and all he ever learned was just how to take a gun off someone, but he didn't know anything about guns or how to use it. And so he was, he was saying to the person, don't come near me, don't come near me. He pulled the trigger and the gun went off and it hit a bystander. So, um, it's not very likely that would happen with the knife. My per point is, is that uh, if you do take a weapon off someone that was trying to use it against you, um, it's important to know the ins and outs of that particular weapon and the best way to use it against them in order for your survival. So, uh, with that being said, here's the footage. With the knife, um, it's pretty straightforward. There's a sharp end here, the handle goes there, and you don't grab the sharp part. And, you know, as, what was it Arya said in Game of Thrones, sticking with the pointy end? So, that's really uh, the main principle of it. However, there's a lot of people that I've seen where they like hold the knife out like this. Uh, yeah, there's a reason why we don't lead with the knife, and it's the same reason why professional boxers don't lead with their fists. Okay. Um, yeah, this is somewhat intimidating. However, unfortunately, the knife is really close to the other person. So if they do know some sort of uh, combatives, there's a chance they may be able to take the knife from me and use it against me as well. And the last thing I need, after I've already just pissed this person off and taken the knife from them, is then taking it from me and sticking it up my ass. So. Uh, is the pros and cons as far as the way that you can hold a knife, and I'm using this blue knife because it's a bit easier to see on camera than it is with, anyway, with this black one. So, and, uh, you know I'll just use the longer one, um, just so that you can get a little bit more, uh, reach on that. E. So, what? <laughs> you couldn't see that, you rolled your eyes. Alright, so when it comes to holding the knife, you can either hold it out this way, or, anyway, you can hold it down this way here. The advantage of holding it out this way here is that I have more reach. If I just I'll aim it towards the head, you know, just move a little bit closer. There's a reflection of the light from the roof. That's there we go. So from here, I'm just going to stand up straight. Yes, in real life it could be leaning forward, but anyway, for now I'm just going to stand up straight to demonstrate this. So this is the distance that I have when I'm holding the knife in this position. If I'm holding it in the downward stair position, well, anyway, there you go. I've pretty much lost, I'd say, that much reach. What would that be like? Six Fit. inches? Yeah, six inches. You know about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I lost about six inches of length. I mean, yeah, realistically, I could sort of angle it off like that, but it's not really going to be an effective stab. Um, so, yeah, the advantages, and by the way, when you're holding this, if you're going to hold it this way, make sure that the, uh, unless it's like a dagger blade, which is sharp on both ends, make sure that the sharp part is aiming away from me, okay? So what I want to do is have it down like this, and I've got my other hand up like so. Now, when I'm in this particular knife fighting stance, if I know the other person has a knife, maybe they've pulled it out, what I want to do is angle this hand off like this. Reason being is because if they come at me and start slashing like this, I don't want my wrist slashed open. You know, the last thing I need to do is bleed out while I'm in a knife fight. I've got enough fucking problems if I found myself in a knife fight. So angle it back like this, so if I do get cut, it's still going to be unpleasant, but it's not going to be uh, the part that'll kill me immediately. So, the other thing to remember as well is to, rather than having your hands, uh, sorry, the fingers out like this, um, sort of like make a fist, not a very tight fist, but like just bring uh, the fingers back in case they get hacked off. And this is the hand that I'm going to be using in order to block other potential attacks from the other person. So if you had this knife, and I'm here and you're coming at me with any angle. Anyway, so yeah, from here I'll be trying to come down like this and then coming and slashing whichever ways I can effectively slash. So from there I just slash into the crook of the elbow. And again, I don't want to get fancy with this stuff and go... <laughs> okay? Fuck that shit. When someone's trying to stab you for real, it doesn't look like this like you see in all the demos. It's fucking... <laughs> right? Yeah, you, you laugh, but that's what it looks like. So, yeah, if they do have a knife and I have a knife as well and I need to fucking do something about it, then yeah, this is how I want to have my hand and use that to block 
either her strikes, whichever way she comes at me, like here. So basically what I'll be doing is I'll just be blocking and then coming in with my own counter-attack. If... Thank you. There's my knife disarm power of persuasion. If she doesn't have um, a knife anymore, first of all I'll be using my voice and yelling out the top of my voice saying, you know, get the fuck back, stay away from me, or I'll fucking cut you, or whatever the dialogue is. I could do it more realistically, but there's a kid sleeping in the next room and we don't want to wake him. Who am I kidding? He's not sleeping. <laughs> I still don't want to yell and freak him out, though. But, okay. So, yeah. If, But if, for whatever reason, this person's really fucking stupid and decides to come at me just with bare-handed techniques, well, then, yeah, I still need this here in order to block that. Um, generally speaking, I'll always have my uh, my arm like this. I don't like getting in the force of habit of having it out like that. Um, so, you know, just to beat myself to that solution if the person should ever have a knife. never happened to me before, but if it does, then, yeah. This is what I want to get in the habit of doing, just so that by force of uh, habit I don't have my wrist exposed to them. And, yeah, so, anyway. From here, yes, I've got access to stabbing from below, and effectively I can stab at the top. The issue with holding the knife this way, first of all, the, uh, the advantage is that I do have a lot more power. However, if it's a knife this way, even though I've got less power, I still have enough. As long as I can penetrate you. Six inches? No. As long as I can... I wish you had six inches. Oh. <laughs> as long as I... Hey, thanks. Just saw me in front of the world. It's all good. Um, as long as, yeah, I can, uh, yeah, stab the person with enough uh, distance that's going to count, that's really all that matters. And as long as the knife is sharp, or at least pointy enough, even if the, what's it called, the cutting part is blunt, as long as the tip is sharp enough, then yeah, I can stab someone easily. And let's just say uh, like three inches of cut or whatnot, that's really all I need. If I stab someone in the heart, all I really need is enough distance just to reach and pen uh, penetrate the heart, and that's it, or puncture the heart. But anyway, good luck to them then. Um, so, this is why I prefer, for the most part, having the knife like this. The other advantage, too, is that if I want to stab here I can, and then here, and then I can work all this distance here from holding the knife in this direction. However, if I angle it this way, realistically, the only part that I can... And I've got to be closer, too, but I can stab around the top areas. I can't, like this, If in order to change that, I need to come back here and then go under here if I want to go for the stomach at this angle. Because realistically, yeah, see? But... You know, from here, yeah, I can easily step for the head. I can go all these angles like this. And that's also the something you need to take into consideration if someone comes at you holding the knife like this. You need to remember, okay, well, if they're holding the knife like this, well, that means they can stab me at any angle. But if they do have the knife like this, you can sort of... I don't really like using the words assume, so don't, but for the most part, they will be coming around for these sort of ones. It's unlikely they'll be, like, trying to come across underneath like this. Um... And yeah, that's about it. Were there any other questions or thoughts you had? To... No, no so... you pretty much covered it all. So I, okay, I don't think I covered it all. This is just a brief explanation of it. But yeah, remember, knife retention. Keep it locked into your hip if it's this way, and if for whatever reason you just cannot help yourself but hold it this way, then yeah, hold it here as well. There's two schools of thought with this as well. Some guys like to hold the knife where it's the blade's just sort of down like this. Other guys like to have it where it's sort of, you know, out like this to the side. Uh, really... I don't really care that much about what you do. If you're in a knife fight, you're already in a world of shit. <laughs> um, the only disadvantage I can think about is this, if maybe if you're like working with the team, if you're, uh, I don't know, SWAT or something like that, and let's say you've got the knife, and you're holding in that same position, stand right beside me. And if we're in some close quarters position or whatever, and I've got the knife like this, and some of the guys swipes at me, and I take a sidestep, and the knife's out like this, well then... I just accidentally stab the guy beside me. So that's why I prefer to have this angle down. Um, however, if you are in a situation where you definitely know there's no one else around you, well then, okay, maybe then. My recommendation would still just be to angle it down, or better yet, hold it the fuck this way. <laughs>